Last time on San Andreas 2 Lime Street Stories. Me and the homie Stepper, we hit a nasty lick on these Kilo Trade niggas, man. We took all they bricks, took all they money. Nigga, we was out here living a motherfucking life, nigga. We was on top of the world. Went in the Simeon spot, dropped 1.5 million on this nigga desk. Straight like that. But even though we had all this money, I still couldn't shake this weird ass feeling. And then it hit me. My homie from Glen Park who put us on that, yeah. He used me and Stepper to rob his own niggas. I know, right? Cold world. Now the Kilo Trey's putting word out in the street. <laughs> and y'all know that shit didn't take long to get back to them. Because of this motherfucker right here. Big Tech. Hating on me, Stepper and Vazo because he a broke nigga. So what he do? He decided to pull up on the Kilo Trey's and ride us out. Whole ass nigga, man. Whole ass niggas. But it's okay. Pussy niggas like that get bullets to the back of their head. Now the Kilo Trades know exactly who did it. Even they big homie know. They main big homie know. Man, shit about to get crazy out here in these streets. I hope y'all niggas ready. Because we show sure is. Signs go up. You see your life flash right before your eyes, and you know what? That's how it is on the west side when the gang signs go up. So many of my niggas die, better watch what you throw up. Niggas talking all that shit, but when the gang signs go up. Flash right before your eyes And you know what That's how it is on the west side When the gang signs go up Ah Sunday morning Birds are chirping, thotty slurping. <laughs> yeah, your boy just chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just another day for you, man. Over here texting a little thotty, talking about slide through. I'm from Grove Street. I'm what? <laughs> no, what the fuck is wrong with you? I ain't sliding over there. You crazy as hell, girl. Crazy as hell. Try to get me killed? She trying to get me. Hey, yeah, 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 y'all. She trying to get me killed. But I ain't gonna lie, she a little baddie though, man. You know what I'm saying? I just met her about, you know, like three, four days ago. And you know what I'm saying? But oh, hold on. Oh my gosh, she sent the nudies. Oh, she going crazy. I don't know, man. I might have to go slide for that. Meanwhile, I'm so caught up in pussy. I'm not even paying attention to my surroundings. Didn't even know I was being watched by the ops. Damn. Crazy. Dude, finally get back to the car. He pop in. He like, I just seen that whole ass nigga hop in the whip. We gotta slide on this nigga right now before we leave. Oh, they like, hey, pull up on the side of this nigga. On the trays, I'm about to switch cheese this nigga shit the fuck up. News of the Lime Street shooting spread like wildfire across the city. I'm talking about every hood was talking about it. So you already know it's only a matter of time before the police got involved. But these two motherfuckers, 
ain't your typical police. Nah, these niggas a whole different breed. Cut from a very familiar cloth. Officer Jackson walk in like, Sir, it was just reported that there was a homicide drive-by shooting on Lime Street. Well, that ain't nothing new. Officer Jackson like, Sir, these gang shootings are getting out of hand. That's 15 in the last two days. Tenpenny Jr. like, 15, huh? <laughs> well, damn, that sounds like a new record. Officer Jackson like, the gang related shooting numbers are really similar to the early 90s. You know, when this city was upside down, Tenpenny Jr. like, look, my father had to deal with a lot of shit in the 90s before he died. I'm not proud of some of the things he did, but the streets are always going to be the streets, son. The game will always be the game. My father let the streets get the best of him and it got him killed. Officer Jackson like, I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean to offend you or your family. I just don't want to see this city get back to that level. That's all. Tenpenny Jr. like, let's get back to the topic at hand. Do we have any witnesses? Have any suspects? What the hell happened? Officer Jackson like, well, one witness say they saw a black van pull up and fire shots into a parked vehicle. We can't identify the victim at the moment because most of his face was shot off. But get this, the car is registered to a Cartier Johnson. Ring a bell? Tenpenny Jr. like, as my father would say, ding 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 ding. Yes it does, Officer Jackson. And that is very interesting. Sound like that son of a bitch finally got what he deserved. Shit getting hot in the streets. But that ain't stopping the Kilo Trades from sliding on niggas. Oh, they right hand, the second in command, Big Mo, decided he was gonna slide on Temple Drive. I guess some wars never change. Big Mo tell his niggas like, just got word from the boss that that east side hit was a success. Y'all niggas hang back. I got this. Meanwhile, this nigga Vazo around the corner macking on some random bitch. Nigga ain't answer his phone or nothing. Don't even know what the fuck going on right now. And don't even know what the fuck is about to happen. Vazo left in total anger and confusion? Shit, I would be too. This nigga just up and disappeared like a ghost. And on top of that, this nigga just killed two of Vazo's homies. Now with the kilo trays up on the scoreboard, it was time to get answers and some get back. And then finally, step and hit Vazo with the news. And all Vazo could do was just sit there and shock. Man, this nigga about to fuck around and kill everybody in this goddamn city. Weasel News. Investigators say they still have a lot of questions and the little information they do have, they tell us they're not ready to release just yet. 
Police say multiple shots were fired on the 500 block of South Lime Street. Police say they're getting a lot of good leads, but have no suspects. We talked with a neighbor who knows the victim's mother. I mean, it was chaos, you know, and the thing is, it was a young guy, and um, I just felt sorry for the family and all that. And with Lime Street being sold up with police from top to bottom, man, y'all already knew more dickheads was gonna pull up. <laughs> yeah, y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Officer Tenpenny Jr. and his punk ass partner, Officer Jackson. Tenpenny been down the block, he, damn, it's been a long time since I've been on this street. This block ain't changed at all. A lot of memories though. Officer Jackson like, huh? What are you talking about, sir? You from over here or something? Tenpenny Jr. like, conversation for another time. Now let's see what the hell is going on. He pop out the whip. He see this nigga step up posted up on the scene. Well, you already know he is about to get on this nigga ass. Tenpenny Jr. walk over like, hey, dickhead, mind telling me what happened here? Stepper like, man, look, I don't know shit, I ain't seen shit, and even if I did, I wouldn't tell you shit. Tenpenny Jr. like, same old Stepper, always gotta be a smart ass. All I asked was a simple question. I tell you what, go pick your boss up off the ground over there and I'll ask him. Oh wait, he dead. I pop out the cut, I'm like, who did? Nigga, I'm right here. Boy, that nigga whole facial expression changed instantly. He like, what the fuck? Nigga, you supposed to be dead. Officer Jackson in the background like, hey Tenpenny, just got word from the station that Cartier was the victim. Tenpenny Jr. like, motherfucker, I can see that. You dumbass. How the hell are you still alive? Well, let's rewind back, shall we? Now, before I could pull off, my little homie Rob ran outside like, hey, your mom's on the phone. She wanna holler at you. So I was like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? I pop out the whip. I tell him to get in so nobody pull off in my shit, you know? Next thing I know, I hear a bunch of motherfucking gunshots. Tenpenny Jr. like, hmm. So well, that's how you survive. Saved by Mama Kendall. You one lucky son of a bitch, I'll tell you that. I'm like, nigga, stop fronting your shit. We all know you wish it was me getting carried off on that stretcher. You loving this shit. Tenpenny Jr. like, well, I ain't gonna lie. I am a little salty. It's not you with bullet holes all in you. But don't worry. You Johnson still gonna pay for what you did to my father. I'm like, you still tripping on some shit that happened 30 years ago? Pathetic. Tenpenny turn around and walk away like, I be seeing you around, fake ass CJ. This nigga lucky I can't punch him in this shit right now with all these police on the block, cause boy, I swear to God, I wanna put a bullet in this nigga face. Stepper like, hey, before fuckboy rolled up, I hit Vazo up. Nigga slid on them too. I think we both know who probably behind this shit. And as I got to thinking, it's definitely Kilo Trades. I might not have seen no faces, but a retaliation like that? <laughs> oh yeah, them niggas definitely know we robbed them. But my question is, who the fuck told them? Well, guess it don't matter now. Cause now it's fucking war. Niggas whooping up until we meet. Catch them like it for him on TV. And if I sit down. Kilo Trades do a little kickback to celebrate their hits on LXF. <laughs> these niggas over here, man. Look at these niggas. This nigga, oh, they like. You seen how I sprayed that nigga whip up? Nigga, I was on my Scarface shit, nigga. Now that we score big on them lime niggas, the city should know we ain't the ones to fuck with. Big Mo receives a call from someone, and his whole face changed. You gotta be fucking joking. Nah, that can't be right. Oh, they like, nigga, what's up? Don't you see me over here trying to celebrate, nigga? Big Mo like, you fucking missed. Cartier dead.
Hey nigga, we need to talk. You got some motherfucking explaining to do. <laughs> yeah, I guess we do then, huh? <laughs>